subsequently died from his injuries. The news release also named two Roman Catholic priests from the same city and said they were abducted and tortured with burns. And one of the priests confirmed he was tortured when contacted by telephone. Underground Solidarity did not say who was behind the actions, but they were reported only six weeks after the kidnapping and murder of the pro-Solidarity priest Yerzy Popiwushku by three secret police officers. Tony Patterson, Warsaw. A civil war gets worse in the island nation of Sri Lanka, south of India. Military men have killed 60 separatists, and the separatists have killed about 60 other people. The separatists want a new country for the 18% of Sri Lankans who are Hindu. Most Sri Lankans are Buddhists. The Chicago school system, the nation's third biggest, may be closed tomorrow. Teachers today are planning a strike after breaking off contract talks early this morning. Artificial heart recipient Bill Schrader is still okay, and doctors say one especially encouraging sign today is that unlike many weak patients, he can cough well enough to keep his lungs clear. Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos missed a public appearance today, suggesting his current illness might be worse than reported. And from Moscow, UPI's Jack Redden has the latest on rumors that a top Russian official is seriously ill. The name of Soviet Defense Minister Dmitry Ustinov has appeared at the bottom of telegrams to the defense ministers of Cuba and Laos. Ustinov has not been seen in public for more than two months, and last week failed to attend the session of the Soviet Parliament that approved an increase in the defense budget. His absence there convinced most observers that the 76-year-old defense minister must be seriously ill. His latest messages and two earlier ones, all printed in the official press, have done nothing to end speculation on Ustinov's health. His latest telegrams are sent every year to mark communist anniversaries, and there is no proof that Ustinov actually had anything to do with them. Jack Redden. Moscow. Mississippi Senator John Stennis is still in satisfactory condition today after having one of his legs removed due to cancer on Friday. At 83 years old, Senator Stennis is the senior member of the U.S. Senate. Howard Dykus, UPI News. You're listening to Renaissance Christmas, a beautiful new album featuring twin classical guitars. It's just one of the marvelous gift ideas from the Christmas Goose Boutique in the Jans Mall, Thousand Oaks. When you think you've seen it all, come to the Goose. You'll find a spectacular collection of tree ornaments and original holiday decorations. And from around the world, wonderful dolls, cuddly plush animals, and giant electric trains, and much, much more. For classic holiday gifts, there's no place like the Christmas Goose in the Jans Mall, Thousand Oaks just across from Best Products. And especially for KNJO listeners, mention KNJO at the Christmas Goose and receive 25% off this beautiful collection of Christmas music. Checking sports at 9.06 from KNJO and the National Basketball Association. San Antonio dumped the Clippers last night, 142-110. College basketball, Memphis State over USC, 61-45. DePaul beat UCLA, 80-61. Pepperdine over Wichita State, 83-81. Junior college play, Santa Barbara beat Moore Park, 71-46. Riverside over Pierce, 93-84. In the Potato Bowl in junior college football, Taft mashed Pierce, yeah, 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 51-27. National Hockey League, the Kings over Vancouver, 6-3. Indoor soccer, Pittsburgh beat the L.A. Lasers, 4-3. Today, the Rams play the Saints at Anaheim, and no television. Sorry, it's not sold out. And the Raiders play the Dolphins in Miami in a big game on TV this afternoon. And the NBA Chicago playing the Los Angeles Lakers at the Forum tonight. Kandeo and Simi Valley weather, mostly clear this morning. Variable high cloudiness this afternoon with highs in the 60s. And partly cloudy tonight with a very slight chance of some showers tomorrow morning. Lows in the 40s tonight. Highs Monday in the 60s. Currently in Fillmore, 55 degrees and 57 degrees at KNJL. The news brought to you by the Christmas Goose Boutique, where you'll find wonderful gifts for every occasion located in the Jans Mall. Thousand Oaks. Seven past nine o'clock. Good morning to you, everybody. Let's get back to music now with Rod Stewart. Now, more of your favorite music with Harvey Kern on 92.7. KNJO.